Rose. She sold 13,000 cookbooks in eight minutes on national television. We all watched Sunday as Champion Baker and friend of Studio 62, Francine Bryson, sold out on QVC. Here is the moment in case you missed it. You will say, online. look at the screen right there, sweet tea. You sold see that? Out. Sold out. Come here to me. <laughs> You know what? You can't see it, but she is crying. You sweet thing. We are so happy for you. Will you do Francine's cookbook, Blue Will Ribbon Bacon from a Redneck Kitchen, also shot up the charts on Amazon. We're delighted, delighted to have Francine in the studio 62 this morning to talk about that experience and what is next for her. Thank you so much for being here. Thanks for having me. You know how much we, we love you. It's always <laughs> really great to see you on national TV because we're like, you know, she, you belong to us, so it's it's it's, it's very personal for us. I'm to trying to figure out what I'm gonna do with my hands. I know we're like this is the first time we've <laughs> ever been in this kitchen without no without any food on it. But you know what? We have plenty of food in this book in right book. here. I mean, this is the one of the first copies. This is the first final copy. Wow. Yeah, they handed it to me on camera at QVC, and of course I went to blubber and stage because <laughs> when you see your lifelong dream in your hands, done and finished, it's just I, I couldn't stop. I wow. still can't stop looking at it. I know like, that's mine. And you you like, went on. Hold up. Well, I got to do something real quickly, <laughs> even though this you've already seen these, but because Aww. we love you so much, we Aww. we had to get you. And don't worry, Look everybody flowers. at home. This is um non alcoholic non-alcoholic <laughs> juice, which we will turn up after the show. Of course. Responsibly, we of course. Very. Um, but tell us, you were crying on, on camera, and people who may not know you may say, why would you cry why about Why are you a blubber an idiot? Yeah, I know. I've actually got that question on my Facebook message. Why was you crying? It's just a book. Well, mm -hmm. yeah, it is just a book. But to me, it's an honor of my grandmothers and my great-grandmother, my mother and my father, everybody that's taught me to cook and be the person I have. This is, and never ask for anything in return. This is my way of saying thank you for making me the person that I am. You did this, you created me, you made me have this love and passion for food, and now I get to share that with the world. And that got emotional for me. And more so for me, it's, it's a big <laughs> story about small town, small town people USA. with big dreams and the exactly. ability to make them come true. Well, you know, I've, that's it's been my dream. The cookbook's been my dream all my life. It, I wanted to grow up be Julia Childs, and <laughs> since that didn't happen, we just ended up being a little old girl from Pickin. But you're doing but, you're doing so well. Tell yeah. me, what are you going to take away from that that QVC experience? I mean, obviously, it was a it's a big moment, and it was. Uh, you know, it, well, it's apparently going to happen again, maybe because you know David was like, hey, well, you got to come back and go get more. Well, you know, that's sort of like a little bit of heads up I can give you right here on Studio Six. Exclusive is what that is. <laughs> I will be back on QVC next Wednesday night between 8 and 10 p.m. Look at that. Yeah, next I'm only Wednesday. the second person to ever be asked back for a pre-sale of a book. Wow. Yeah. That's so. awesome. So you're going to come back with a big old thing full of <laughs> more books, and you're going to – I feel a second sellout coming on. I, oh, I, I only hope and pray that we do a second sellout, but I'm going to QVC again. I've been asked back, and they were actually emailing my publisher before I got on the plane. Get that more night. books. Those They're like, get going books. Like get us books. And <laughs> I was just like, wow. But the opportunity to do that, and then it's it, everything is just rolling real fast. It, it's happening so fast. Did it go in slow motion on QVC? I, I've heard people explain. No, no it was really it was, like it was real just time. Real, real fast. But you get to meet with Dave, and I was just enamored by David. I mean, he's 12 <laughs> foot tall. Yeah, it's like you had with. to get on the ladder to I get know. him. I know. I'm like, Jeff. I'm like, hello there. <laughs> but, um, it's just really cool to hang out with him because I've watched him most of my life on TV, mm -hmm. and I get starstruck by chefs and cooks and things like that. Stars and you know the Brad Pitts and all them. That don't do nothing. Yeah, that don't do nothing for me. Okay. But you get it, you know Mario Batali <laughs> and Michael Simon, all those in front of me, and then I get starstruck and act goofy and everything. But with David, it was. He's from North Carolina. It was just a hometown guy. And there was, was an instant connection. I mean, we have yeah. chemistry, of course. Yeah. But that, I mean, but that, it was, was, that was good. Yeah, instant. we talked about grits. He told me that um, the funniest thing he told me was, I can always tell when I'm in the north is when the box of grits have dust on them in the grocery store. <laughs> so I was like, wow. But it's just amazing. I mean, and they've asked me back. I'll be back next week. Mm -hmm. um, I'm leaving this weekend is to go. Is there some more news that you can share with us? I no. am going to be out of town a part of this weekend. I'm going to meet with my production company. We're in development. Franny got a TV show. Yay! <laughs> yes! So we've been talking about it for a year or so, but there were so many steps to go through, so many hurdles to jump through. And you have to make everybody happy. So now the production company that also does Myrtle, Myrtle Manor, Manor. Yes. So, which I'm in love with Myrtle Manor. So <laughs> I have no problems with them doing my well, show. Well, as long as you let Studio 62 on set for some of the filming and all of that stuff. Oh, of course. We're actually talking about we're going to film it here at home. Okay. I want it at home. I want it in Pickens. 
and everybody's going to be involved. I want the local community involved. It's, it's not going to be a crazy parody, reality yeah. parody show. It's 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 about food and baking and the love of food and things like that. Awesome. So. We're so we're so proud of you. Thanks. And, uh, we know there's going to be amazing things happening. You can always go to Amazon.com mm -hmm. and search Blue Ribbon Baking. We'll put a link to that on our website. It is too. number one right now. It's number one. Number Let's one. keep it number one. Go buy some of those. Thank you so much, Francine. Thanks, Congratulations. Thank you for my flowers. You're you're so oh. welcome. So welcome.